Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I'm here to do an empties video. I have been needing to film for a while, as you guys know. I'm just going to cut the to chase. These are my empties. Empties are products that... Whoa. Empties are products that I've used up. So, let's get started with candles. First candle that I finished up is Honolulu Sun from Bath & Body Works. It's just a typical coconut watery type scent. Wasn't too special. Um, it burned fine. Um, I don't know. It just wasn't anything to write home about. Um, it was whatever. Strength was okay. It was just like an average throw. So, Next was a great candle. It was from Gold Canyon. And oh, this is in the scent White Citrus. Now let me say... This white citrus is the exact same scent as Volcano from um, Capri Blue. It smells exactly the same. This is it right here. Burned super clean all the way down. I love these jars. They sparkle. Strongest candle brand, I would say, out there. They have the strongest candles. The only thing that stinks is you have to order them from a consultant like Scentsy. Um, it's like a sugar citrus with some greens. Love, love, love this candle. Definitely recommend that. But you can get Volcano as well at Anthropology. So works out both ways. Then I finished the ooh, the Fireside candle from Bath & Body Works. And I love Fireside. Fireside is just such a nice scent. Um, smells like smoked woods, which I really, really like. But not too outdoorsy. Um, if you smelled wood fire, which is Feu de Bois from Diptyque, it's very similar, but obviously Diptyque's is a lot better. Um, performance was not that great. It was low flames the entire time. So, that's whatever. Then, on the Bath and Body Works train, I finished Vanilla Snowflake. This candle was a hot mess. Um, look, look at this. Burned terribly. A nice big amount of wax left. Turned that nasty color. Ugh, smells just like vanilla. It's nothing too special. Hated, hated, hated this candle. So excited to pitch it. Then I finished a candle for um, a loom. It's not going to come out. Um, I put this in the freezer and uh, popped the disc out. It's upside down. But it is in the fragrance mold wine. And I got this from Anthropology. Love this. It's cinnamony, fruity, and it's super pretty because it... Um, sparkles it's like a sparkle glass which i absolutely love i think that's so pretty mm, needs to focus focus here focus out there we go um yeah it's awesome it's just like a mulled wine just like a spicy cinnamon and this on my mantle was so pretty when it burned and it burned a long time too put some water in here and put some flowers it'd be super pretty then I finished one lonely Yankee candle. It's a small tumbler in sugar and spice. I loved this scent. And this is a small tumbler. This shouldn't be here. There we go. It's a small tumbler. Um, the strength was incredible for a small tumbler. I could not believe it. I had this in my kitchen and it filled up the entire kitchen and wafted through the house as well, which was incredible. I still cannot believe the strength on this candle smells like sugar and spice i mean it's the description and the picture is right it's like a cinnamony strudel it's like the epitome of a bakery scent so putting this in the um kitchen makes everybody think that you've been baking all day but you haven't um i actually would definitely repurchase this i have it in a two wick tumbler the burn is not that great on it i will say it's I don't know what is going on with it. I think I actually got it at the outlet, though. Mm, no, you know what? I might have. I don't remember. I have to look at the label. But it's not a great uh, candle, the two-wick. But this one is awesome. Then oh, I finished a party light candle. It was a three-wick. The one of the wicks just fell out. And this was in Just Desserts. And it was a layered candle. It was a, it was a pink layer, a green layer, and then this brown layer. I don't exactly remember. The throw was not strong on it at all, especially with, like, it's super big. It was not a strong throw at all. Also had this one in my kitchen. It just was not strong. I love burning a candle in the kitchen, like, on the stove. I don't know how many of you are like that. I just think it's so pretty. But not a strong throw at all. Wasn't really anything to write home about, so 
pitch. Then I finished two candles from 1820 House, which is a local candle brand made in Ohio that I really, really love. And this one is in cashmere and amberwood. This was awesome. I'm definitely going to put this on a candle warmer and melt the rest of this. It smells just like, I would say amber. It has the most amber, but it has this like really cozy sweater aspect to it, which is a really cool aspect to it. And I believe these are still available even though they are for the holidays online. They only come in a small size. I love it. I would definitely pick that up. And then last candle I have is the big birch bark and toasted marshmallow. I will say about when it got halfway is when I could really start to smell it, which was interesting. I don't know. I've never had a candle like that from her do that. Most of her candles are a great throw. Uh, not too strong, but just great. And I reviewed this before. It's like a toasted marshmallow, but not like marshmallow fireside, like real marshmallow. So it's not super overpowering like vanilla sweetness. It's just really, really calm, and I love it. So that's birch bark and marshmallow. I finished two tarts. I finished wild strawberry from Party Light. I don't really remember a whole lot about this. It smells just like artificial strawberries. Um, you have to use like the whole entire thing to get a throw, which is a pain in the ass, let me tell you. And then I finished from Vintage Chic Scents because I totally forgot I have so many tarts. And I really need to work through tarts, but it just doesn't happen. I just... Focus, focus, focus. There we go. I don't know why it does that, but um, yeah, I totally forgot about these, and I have so many, so I'm really going to start working through tarts, especially now with the summer. I find like I use tarts more in the summer because I don't like burning candles because it gets too warm. This is in Princess of Monaco. This was actually poured in January of 2014, so it's been there for a while. This is Lemon Cookie. I used three cubes in my bedroom and filled up the whole space for two whole days. I left it on. Turn it on like Monday morning, Wednesday afternoon. I could barely start to smell it. That's crazy. Super strong. Love, love, love this scent. So that was the candle aspect. Let's move on to my favorites. Beauty products. Finished lots of beauty products. First, I finished Happy Happy Joy Joy Hair Conditioner from Lush. I really, really, really loved this conditioner. Um, I have really, really thick hair. And I find that a lot of conditioners don't work for my hair because it is so thick. I need to find a really thick, thick conditioner. This is super thin. I use a tiny bit, maybe like a quarter size amount in my palm, massage it in, and then I wash my body, rinse my body, wash my face, rinse my face, and then I rinse this, and my hair felt so soft. It's crazy. I have to pick up another bottle next time I'm at work. I love this stuff. Love Happy Happy Joy Joy. And the perfume is like a neroli and grapefruit, so it's really uplifting. I finished a Bath & Body Works hand soap in sweet strawberries and cream. This was nothing to write home about. It's just like a strawberry scent, artificial. Um, left this in my kitchen. I use it. I go through foam soap so quick. I finished African Paradise from Lush. This is a body conditioner. It stinks. It smells so weird. It has like moringa oil and everything. I don't know. It's just an interesting smell. It left my body really soft. But out of all the body conditioners we have, this is my least favorite. Uh, Chris Tingle's my favorite, and then Rose Argan, but that's whatever. I finished Cup of Coffee Face and Body Mask. I actually have never used this on my body. I just use it as a face mask. Um, I love this in the morning. If I'm, like, super tired and I really need a nice, uplifting mask, I will go ahead and use this. It's pretty sweet for that, um... It smells really, really great, just like coffee, and it's really tightening and firming. I finished a Midnight Pomegranate Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. I love this scent. Um, I'm glad that they brought it back because it was an awesome scent. Just like a pomegranate amber type scent. I finished a Kate Somerville Face Wash, the Detox Daily Cleanser. Um, I really like this. I love her Gentle Daily Wash, which is what I'm currently using, but... At the Sephora that I went to, they did not have it in stock, so I grabbed the Detox. It was nice. I mean, it was not, uh, it's not as great as I love the Gentle Daily Wash, but it is definitely really nice. The one thing I love about Kate Somerville is that you actually twist like this and then squeeze, so you don't have to worry about caps and all that. It's great. So, it's the Detox Daily Cleanser. 
I finished Prince Charming Shower Cream from Lush. I did not like this, you guys. It smells... I don't like the smell. It smells like pomegranate lemonade, which is... It sounds great. It is great. Not this big bottle. I was so sick of the scent. It was so uplifting, so brightening, and um, I just was not a fan of it at all. That's the Prince Charming Shower Cream. Then I finished... I have lots of shower products. I finished L'Occitane Whipped Shower Foam. This is really cool. It's like a sh it's like a foam. So you squirt it out on your body. There's a tiny little bit left in there. Uh, and, um, you just squirt it on your body. It's really cleansing. Um, it's really an awesome way um, to cleanse. It's really, really cool. Next, I finished from the brand Itty Bitty Bubble Tub. I love the Golden Girls. <laughs> and this is a rose bubble bar. Um, it smells great. It smells just like roses. It's pretty cool. I have the Tatcha Pure One Step Camilla Cleansing Oil. Love, love, love this stuff. I really need to repurchase this. Um, currently, I'm using um, the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser um, to remove my makeup, but I love this Tatcha Pure One Step Camilla Cleansing Oil. I think it's pretty awesome. It's pricey, but it's awesome. I finished a small Joe Malone body cream in Peony and Blush Suede. Really like this scent. As usual, I've never bought the full size body cream because every time I'm in the store, this is always like the free gift. So I have so many of them. I finished a small Dream Cream. I kept this in my bag. Um, I love Dream Cream. It's one of my favorite lotions from Lush. It's super lightweight, but absorbs really nicely. And it's calming. I finished Tea Tree Water Toner Water. Um, this is great, especially when you have like inflamed skin, just to spray it throughout the day. I always keep that in my fridge. Here we go. This is a Glam Glow Mask. I did not like this at all. It broke me out. Um, really, really, really strong, like burning, burning, burning of my skin. And sure, I do some crazy stuff to my skin. Yeah. Um, but this is... It was so powerful. I did not like it. And it's like $70 or something like that. Not today. I finished a L'Occitane Whipped Hand Cream. Loved, loved, loved their hand creams. And that one's no exception. I finished a L'Occitane Pivon Flora Shower Gel. This is like a peony scented shower gel. Super nice. I actually use this to wash my hands. Um, I had to babysit for one of my friends. And I their hand soap was not the best so I brought this and um, it was great to wash my hands with over there I finished a small molten brown pink pepper pod body wash this is the body wash I used on that trip um, it's nice it's like a spicy peppery scent but really great I finished a small Joe Malone grapefruit body and hand wash um, I love it I definitely love their shower gels they're really pricey though for a shower gel um, but they're nice. I finished a satin body oil sample from Diptyque. Love this. I use this on my body from my neck down one day after a nice bath using the precious oil for the bath, which this combo was pretty awesome. Uh, the precious oil doesn't really bubble, just really makes the bath water super creamy, which I loved. Uh, Crabtree and Evelyn Pomegranate Shower Gel. This was awesome. I love the scent mm, of pomegranate from them. It's just uplifting, really bright and citrusy. Love it. Then I finished this Panda uh, Korean Beauty Mask. It makes you look like a panda. Not really. Um, follow me on Snapchat. I'll put my Snapchat down below. Um, I always take pictures of me doing the craziest beauty treatments. So definitely follow me on Snapchat's Candle Kid 0311 or 0311. I finished a Philosophy Hope in a Jar, Renewed Hope in a Jar sample. Uh, I love this moisturizer. It's great in a pinch. Almost done, you guys. I finished the L'Occitane Lavender uh, Shower Gel. I like this as bubble bath when I am have a crazy day and I just really want to relax. Love that. Okay. I finished the Tokyo Milk Dark Wisdom Shower Gel. This was pretty freaking awesome um a super thick shower gel which it actually has B venom in it 
or bee pollen and honeysuckle and it was like this super rich rich shower gel but it wasn't i mean it was still clear but when you squeezed it out it was, it was awesome and it really bubbled up last two things the um, Diptyque Multi-Use Exfoliating Clay for the face. This is really nice. It's an exfoliator, and I leave it on. It's like a mask. And then last but not least, yeah, I should not have tried this because I'm absolutely over the moon for it. It is the Gear Lawn Orchid Cream, and this is something like $500 a bottle, but or like for a little tub of cream. But it is absolutely amazing. I love the formulation. Feels so super nice on the skin. Um, I use that as like a night treatment once a week. It's pretty awesome. But anyway, guys, that was my empties video. Thank you so much for um, watching. I want to say one more thing before I go. I'm actually... Where are they at? Oh, I don't know where they're at. Okay, I'm actually... Um... Oh, here. This is a preview for... Okay, this is the preview for the next video, and that's all I am going to say. That's my next video. Yes. Um, if you've heard of them, if you love them, there's a link for 20% off. Please use it. It's awesome. It's 20% off and free shipping. So maybe you guys can get the stuff that I talk about next week. Bye, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. That was weird. Bye, guys.